I am at the Northwest Guitar Show, packing up. Everything's quiet. I haven't filmed anything else because we've been utterly rammed. This will count as this week's podcast. And I'm on my way to the toilet. I still haven't been. And I've just walked past one of my favorite guitars of all time. Made They made several hundred. Bond guitar. It is utterly awesome. I am almost literally weighing myself with excitement. That could be because I need the loop. <laughs> Uh, carbon composite plasticky type construction, nothing particularly special except it's it's old. It's got the um, shallow sort of um, fine tune adjustment tailpiece here and a roll of original that. But it is the close-ups that I'm going to do now to show you. I am very excited. Give me that camera. So, we have a thing of utter beauty, fairly standard, except you've got a three position little LED readout there, but the very, 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 very best thing, oh, does that look like it doesn't have frets? The fretboard is an engineering, I, I'm completely running out of words, effectively instead of frets, they have um, made these ledgers and it plays like an utter dream it feels like a fretless instrument but it is fretted kind of and stunning and uh, I never thought I'd ever see one of these in, the, in real life so uh, well there you go little tiny bit of wondrousness from our stay at the Northwest Guitar Show 2014 and it works everybody, it lives. Um, I'm not gonna plug it in, but, and it's not for sale, but you should check out Simpsons Guitars. Here we go. These wonderful people, these wonderful people mothballed this guitar for us when they heard the factory was closing. Clothing, clothing? It was a clothing factory. When they heard the Bond factory was closing. And uh, if you wanna see the guitar, 25 pounds a go. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's an unofficial offer. You'll have to phone Simpsons up and, uh, and see. But um, yeah, I'm genuinely excited. It's a phenomenal thing. And I am going to go away and see if that fretboard is still patented. If it isn't, I am going to be making some just like it very soon. Uh, this has been Crimson Custom Guitars. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, have a great weekend. All right. I am back. Tis the day after. We've done the show, driven back at great length, and uh, I've done a little bit more research. Uh, this guitar is one of about 1,600 that they made. I'm still excited. Uh, yeah, it's called the Bond Electro Glide, and uh, the fretboard is a, an aluminium construction which has been anodized black. And uh, I mentioned uh, yesterday about wanting to make one uh, with a little bit of uh, digging, it turns out that it might be that the patent has run out. In which case, by gum, I'm excited. I'm going to try and do something very similar very soon. Uh, you can check out, well, Google Bond Electroglide and uh, have a look. There'll be a couple of links to, oh, the wiki page and all of that in the comments uh, in the description of the uh, video. Uh, but yes, uh, it's carbon fiber construction, aluminium fretboard, and uh, it's been used by a couple of famous people. And uh, sadly, the company went out of business. Um, it's powered, it's, it requires mains power, hence that huge big uh, thing that you saw in the, in the case there. And uh, it's got a huge motherboard inside to control the pickup switching and all of that. Uh, just an incredibly interesting, uh, groundbreaking instrument and some, some very interesting ideas. That fretboard blows me away every time, and uh, well, it, it's an awesome guitar. Uh, thank you for watching, have a great day, and we're back to the usual podcast uh, every Monday from now on. And uh, goodbye.